Hello everybody, welcome to the Blitz Pit, uh, number seven, the last, the final tour, that's what it's called. <laughs> um, we've got the second round match between Shawnee and Corley and XXXXXXXXXX. I'm Jim McMahon and with me is Gorilla Metzo. Hello, hello, the JFW invasion of the Blood Bowl universe continues. I am Gorilla Metzo and I'm calling the shots here with my good partner, Jimps, uh, who will probably say yep a few times during this match, but the action, this is loser's bracket action. That's right. If you don't know, double elimination in Blitz Pit. Both of these guys on the short end of the stick in the first round, but they're still alive until the end of this game. One of them will go home. Jim, talk me through this uh, Slayer sitting on the bench for Shawnee. Uh, Shawnee doesn't like the luxury player, does he? And uh, I guess with these guys having Fend and this guy having block step, he didn't want to uh, deal with that bullshit. And also he's yeah. got a mighty blow that he would target the AV8. So... Fair enough, yeah. The AV8 having to sit this one out, that's, a, you know, that's, that's either top-notch strats or maybe a little bit bizarre. You know, it's, Shawnee's an excellent coach, so I'll take his word for it. But that's something I would have a very hard time doing, putting one of my most expensive players on the bench like that. Yeah, well, it's funny because it's it's pretty much exactly what I did in a, in another match early with my undead, where I benched my, uh, both of my whites on defense in one game. So there you go. Very interesting. Next level stuff. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven guard for Shawnee and a mighty blow. Corleone's got four guard. And some skills, some oh, but three dodges, a sidestep, a sure hands, and a block tackle, mighty blow blitzer. So there you go. There's the teams. No reserves. Uh, so very risky for Corleone, uh with no reserves there. But uh, interesting. Very interesting stuff here. And uh, yeah, and uh, <laughs> uh, Colian, uh, with plus two fame ends up getting the reroll on the kickoff. Uh, four to three advantage there. And just got, uh, just got himself removed. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't like that dodge. It doesn't really achieve a lot to have a dude there, especially against dwarves. Right, they're pretty slow. Having a guy on the floor, I think, is pretty nice against dwarves. Actually, it makes you know that it's hard enough for them to get forward anyway. You you make them clear those guys and stuff. Had he not been knocked over? Uh. Surely he'd be knocked I, over. I don't know. I was looking at the dice log when it happened. Uh, Surely he'd be knocked over. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. Surely knocked down the OS. Um, yeah. <coughs> but um, right, I'm gonna have a lie down for a little bit. So. Um, oh, Oreo Lens is pointing out he was based by Mighty Blow, so maybe the dodge was better. Oh no, no, we already talked about that. Yeah, he was down. Yep. Sorry. Yeah, I would have yes. kept him down personally. All right, well, Jims, you just uh, rest your eyes every now and then. Shout yep into the mic, and we will get this one going. Shawnee 18 looking to do a nice and slow grind, probably take all those AV7s off the pitch. And, uh, you know, no bench on either side here. Oh, I'm sorry, one bench for Shawnee. No bench for the Bretts. Oh, there's a opening double skull. Things not going so great for Colian to start this one. And I've got nothing against Corleon, but fuck Bretts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jim, not a fan of Bretts and not really threatened by him in that way that he's not a fan of Norse. Uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, Corleon off to a terrible start. But there, he's going to make up for it. Getting uh, getting a long beard off the pitch. Miss next game. It's going to be a 50-50 if, he, if he's going to choose it. And he does not. Obviously, miss next game, having no additional effect other than removing from the pitch in a res format tournament. He, is he going to dodge another? Nope, not dodging this time. Maybe he's learned his lesson of setting himself up for a blitz. No, he's already blitzed. Looking to maybe guard lock him a little bit. That's going to be a losing battle against this much guard from the dwarves. This could get real ugly. This could be a meat grinder for Colian, unfortunately, but we'll see. Uh, you, one thing we know for certain this half is that there is no chance that ball is crossing, <laughs> cro crossing into the end zone by Shawnee's hands uh, on anything other than turn eight.
<laughs> yeah, welcome aboard, Shio. Glad to have you here. Uh, and yeah, you know, I think a lot of people will agree you're going to favor the Bretts just because of a hatred of dwarves. I like picking the coaches, and Shawnee's one of my favorite Blood Bowl coaches in uh, CCL competition. So I want to see him go the distance here. But he's got a long uphill battle now that he's already in the loser's bracket after the first round. Uh, so now he's just going to be treading that uh, that fine line to try and get himself into the championship. I believe Shawnee won. Did Shawnee win the last blitz bit? I believe he might have. Um, it would be pretty exciting to see someone not named Crucifer win multiples of these. And yeah, here we go. Now we're going to see the guard, the guard positioning game. Who can do it better? Uh, Shawnee's going to have a bit of an advantage because he's got a few more. Uh, he's got him down. Yeah, he's got two extra guard uh, in the advantage. Uh, but, you know, those uh, those Brett blockers with wrestle, they can still take some risks on occasion because if you just drag down, you know, if you can drag down one of those guards, you might be, open, be able to open up some 2Ds. And then we, we we just saw, unfortunately for Colian, he just lost his he, one of those guards. Those are going to be precious commodities to him, uh, getting KO'd. Hopefully he'll get that back, or this is going to really unravel really quickly. Yep, absolutely, Necropotence. Can't write it up any better than me predicting who's going to win a match in the JFW. And so here, well, he, again, though, he's uh, doing a good job still getting those two dice blocks, but he really cannot settle for pushes. Obviously can't greed something like that, but he he desperately needs to put some of these stunties on their asses, not that they're actually stunties. And very well done. Again, He's threading the needle with his guard right now to maximize these 2D blocks. They're not paying off for me. Does not really have a lot of power Glorious. to follow up. No, um, I won't give and in. I, I, honestly, Until I missed it earlier I'm why he ended up blitzing with the non-mighty blow defend. there, but I'm sure there was a reason for it. Rick yeah, well, he started this half with four as well, Muppet. Also, uh, thank you for uh, subscribing uh, six months. I'm shocked that it's only been six months for you, but that's a few beavers, I think. Two beaver pregnancies? I forget what a beaver pregnancy is. Four months? Yeah, Colian's already had to offset a one double skulls with one of his rerolls, and he he did gain a fourth from the kickoff. Yeah, so it's four. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you, extra arms bot. You're always there for me in a pinch. Even though J5 beat you to it. Oh, wait, no, J5 caused it. I didn't actually know there was a... Oh, God. I'm a disaster right now. Folks, beavers. <laughs> beavers uh, beavers will give birth after uh, a, uh, a four-month pregnancy. We've all learned our lessons from this. <laughs> no, I'm doing good. I, hey, look, you're asking me to cover wrestling, Blood Bowl, and now, uh, not botany, botany's plants. Uh, uh, oh, boy, animals. <laughs> Biology. Give me a break here. Thank you, Shio. <laughs> oh, dear. All right, back to the action on hand. We've got a wall of dwarves and a, uh, a, a crumbling wall of Bretonians looking to put some pressure on swinging his mighty blow around back. Uh, that might just get his mighty blow hit. <laughs> we'll see what happens. That could be enough, you know, if he does opt to take a, that hit on the mighty blow. That's going to slow those dwarves down. And look at this. Coin doing a pretty nice job kind of 
wrangling all that guard into one part of the field here. Uh, I, I got to say, for being down so much guard in this matchup, he's uh, he is really performing quite well, uh, manufacturing those two-die blocks, you know, uh, and, and, and keeping himself alive in this game down two players here. Yeah, and here we go. We're definitely going to see this this uh, this mighty blow tackler get get blitzed. Uh, Shawnee does not care so much about that tackle, but he definitely cares about the mighty blow because that will open up the second half for him to be able to use that uh, that AV8 troll slayer there uh, a little bit more reliably. No, he's not going to hit him. He's just going to mark him. All right, I think he's uh, really choosing to advance here and get himself into a slightly better position. Uh, and he certainly can swing everyone around and get past that 50-yard uh, that line now. Oh, boy, the failed GFI. That cost Shawnee a game earlier in this tournament. Uh, but uh, has to use the reroll. Still has two left. But now, where's this ball going? Is he going to eye cage it in the guard? I think that's uh, nope. I guess he's just going to trust. Uh, he's going to trust in that that uh, wrestler. I don't know. I I would consider. I would strongly consider a red dice wrestle on the ball carrier right now. That could be an advantage he needs because he's he can easily free up this left side and bring players around and put a lot of pressure on Shawnee. Scary times. What's uh, what's Coley and XXXXXX gonna do? He is gonna take the red deep blitz and it's not gonna pay off. He's gonna re-roll it and it still doesn't pay off. But he's he's still gonna have that ball based by wrestle uh, instantly getting 2 d but he is going to get a follow-up red D if he wants it. Don't think he can make that any better. Can he swing? He could have maybe swing. He could have maybe put some more guard in, but it wouldn't have helped offset the two guard there. Oh, yes, yeah, so it would have made it a 1-D. Ops not to do that, though. Probably going to bring this present around front here. Yep, better uh, better locking these dwarves down. Will he make a dodge here? No, he doesn't. Just takes the block. And now this blitzer can get, can get back as a safety. All right, is he going to take another red D, or is he just going to keep the sidestepper? He's going to take the red D, gets another push for his efforts, but now the ball is in all sorts of trouble. The one saving grace here is that there's only one guard in the mix. From ooh, a, ooh, I had a very unfortunate one D skull there. Maybe wouldn't have considered taking that block. But now, yeah, only one guard in on the ball. So this isn't as bad of a mess as it looks like for the dwarves. Uh, possible, pretty easy chain here too, if he wants to free him up. But we're talking about two turns left after this one so shawnee does need to advance that ball oh and shawnee gets his own double skulls and that's gonna do it for that re-roll he's got one left for two turns but shawnee too nice no doesn't chain him the second time oh i'm sorry that block came from the other side so shawnee can free this up does get uh does not get the pow because that's a blitzer so does he just potato here <laughs> oh this is not this is not great for shawnee uh basically no real shot at preventing a 1d here Yep, some thinking going on. 14 seconds left in the half, and here it is. We are on a half-baked potato, folks. 
and uh, there's not going to be a ton of help here for this uh, for this blitzer whose name is in Cyrillic and not pronounceable by my tongue. The question is, do you do? Is there any way to free anyone else up to make this a two D? Not realistically. He could maybe one D for a push to free up this uh, the guard wrestler on the left here. But that would still require a GFI. And no, he's just going to take his hits here. I think he's going to resign himself to making a 1D, but that runner does not have block. So uh, the 1D has a very good chance of uh, shutting down a score here if he makes this 1 and 9 dodge. He does not. And that's going to probably do it for Colian's defense. Yeah, we call that half bait because there was the most uh, most moderate of protection available to him with everyone being base. So it still required dice from Colian. And as you can see, those dice did not work out. Rolling the one and nine when he had a clear one D on the ball, if he could make it. Uh, but now, yep, there's basically no shot unless this peasant pulls off a miracle to stop Shawnee from scoring. And there you go. So this is a very important insurance uh, by that blitzer there, tagging him up because of the fend. If he didn't get him down, that peasant would have been free briefly. Uh, but now, I don't even think he can make it. Yeah, all he can do now is dodge and base and pray. That's not going to be enough to stop him. He's uh, twice as sexy as a normal uh, porno. That's why. <laughs> oh, how's it going? No, you are listening to the dulcet tones of Gorilla Mezzo of the JFW universe. Jim's my partner, is here calling the shots with me. He's taking a little nap because he is uh, tired. <laughs> Uh, he will probably tune in at some point, say, yep, maybe provide a little bit of second half analysis. Uh, but right now you're just uh, stuck with me. And oh, no, Peasant makes the dodge, doesn't make the GFI and removes himself. And that's going to be it for the first half for Colian. He is going to be down one nothing. Can he make up the difference with some removals on the LOS? That's a tall task against the Dwarven armor. Yep. <laughs> Ah, uh, and there we go, throw wreck. There's Jim in all his glory with the yep. How you doing, Jim? Oh, oh. <laughs> just uh, just saw that Sean. He's got the score there, and said it was a bit. Seemed to sound like it was a bit of trouble at some points, but uh, mm, not yeah. as much as maybe I would have emphasized to keep people awake. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Colian's had Colian's had the the lesser dice of the two, but he also has the lesser team. Yeah. <laughs> And so really, you know, this is this is pretty, uh, pretty, I won't say clinical because Shawnee did have to uh, double chain himself to safety and potato, but uh, he was uh, a one and nine away from getting the ball one deep. That was pretty much the biggest threat uh, that he was in at all. And the uh, the ball, the Colleen did not make his one and nine. Yeah, this is. Yeah, just on teams, I would, uh, you know, it wouldn't matter who was. Yeah. I mean, because the blitz pit are all pretty close. You know, is, that's the thing, isn't it? Like, if, yeah. if, uh, if somebody, <laughs> no offense, if somebody like Fault Force was in control of the dwarves, you'd fancy calling to beat them. But when it's like two, pretty similar yeah. level, yeah. this brutal team difference, I would. I, I, I gotta sure say, I gotta do. say that is one of the weirdest aspects of Blood Bowl. The better the coaches facing each other, the more dicey the game kind of the result hinges on, you know? 
Yeah. Um, you have two top tier coaches. Now, again, we're, we're looking at a vast disparity in team quality, if you're asking me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, with these two, with two excellent coaches that are almost evenly matched, not, you know, again, I regard Shawnee as one of the best in Blood Bowl too. Uh, but Colian's Colian can hang with just about anyone anyway. Um, you're, you're, you're really going to have to look down to those, those couple of double skulls or the one and nine that failed, uh, as the difference maker in a lot of cases, assuming he wasn't playing for Tonians right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's the thing. Like, of course, they're still going to make mistakes and what have you and things, but it's definitely going to be more swingy. Like for example, my game, uh, this morning, this afternoon, whatever, um, against the Orcs. If that had been Corleone or Shawnee, I'd be lose. I'd have lost two nil, guaranteed. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> uh, yeah. So not enough players here to pull off uh, the one turn, says Colian. Uh I don't. I think he might have had been able to do it the sidestep, but it would have been basically impossible. Shawnee taking, uh, doing the right thing, not lazily backlining, setting up very properly to stop the one turn attempt anyway. Uh, so the best uh, Colian's going to get right now is uh, a removal off the LOS, I think. Yeah, and yeah, we should do some. We should do some CCLs, like maybe as you know. Obviously, depending on Gorilla's availability, we could maybe do like the semis in the final or something. Maybe quarterfinals might be too many then, mightn't it? But maybe we could do the semis in the final. Yeah, or just I, the final I'd have no problem. I'd have no problem doing some CCL coverage. I. Uh... I only I find there's too many games in CCL now to, to really pay attention to the playoffs. As excited yeah. as I get to watch streamers trying to qualify, my interest in the success of their team almost always falls off as soon as the playoffs start because <laughs> I don't pay attention to the calendar, so I generally miss the games when they happen live. Uh, yeah. Unless it's someone like like if it's Jim, who I pretty much always am watching when he's uh, when he's streaming Blood Bowl, that I generally know. But uh, rarely will I like catch Artemis covering two coaches that I have actively paid attention to over that season of CCL. Mm. Right. But so. I would do that, and uh, there has been secret talks of a JFW-themed Blood Bowl universe uh, cinematic-style Blood Bowl game uh, that I would love to make happen, but boy, would it be a lot of work, and we'd have to do it right if I wanted to do it at all. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? It might be a bit too ambitious, but... Uh... It's, it, there's something there, definitely. It would be fun to do in a small scale to see how popular it was and how well regarded it was. Because generally speaking, as a creative person, and more specifically with my own ego, the more you tell me I'm doing right, the more I want to do it. <laughs> yeah, we could we could start with just one match then, eh? Maybe, maybe scorched exactly. by Gorilla Mezzo and Jims McMahon. <laughs> I, was, I was thinking about something similar. Maybe a better... Maybe Maybe a slightly better match than that. I don't need the job out to you, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and again, turn one, eating a reroll of Colians. He cannot catch a break right now. Absolutely brutal. Right, I'm going to carry on lying down. Cheers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and yeah, uh, Colian's only hope here, unless he gets some miracle removals, is to basically emulate the same kind of drive that Shawnee had. Slow and steady wins the race. He cannot, cannot buy a break. A one, a, a one and nine there. Uh, he's got wrestle, but still, that's not what he wants. Putting his guard on the ground is a lot worse than Shawnee putting his guard on the ground. But yeah, he's got a. His only hope here is some cheeky removals, getting a turn eight score, and uh, and, and and winning this in overtime at this rate. And just again, mighty blow, not getting the not getting the uh, the knockdown. Skuro versus J5, always entertaining. Jimmy and I have only played Blood Bowl against each other once. Actually, I think I sniped him with an alt account once, but it was a nothing game. Uh, we played one one game against each other, I believe, in Blue. Uh, and he mentioned Tom Brady, and I got so apoplectic that he did that that I ended up accidentally dodging a Saurus on my first turn and basically handing him the ball on my own offense. And that was basically ball game from that point out. <laughs> Not to be mean, but holy shit, did I love that. <laughs> I mean, 
I loved it in hindsight. I didn't love taking the loss. My team was doing pretty well that season too until that play. <laughs> <laughs> it was incredible. I, I couldn't. You know, I thought <laughs> I didn't even do it to try and fucking tilt you or anything. I just did it for a laugh. <laughs> <laughs> and then, <laughs> I didn't think it would bother you at all. I wouldn't have done it. It was just unbelievable. But yeah, in hindsight, Great. hilarious. Oh, yeah, greatest of all time, Necropotence. Greatest of all time. And yeah, here we go. Shawnee just gonna leverage his guard, base some, you know, herp derp, base, base, base. And uh, again, we saw some really impressive uh, maneuvering by Colian in the first half um, to get as many 2Ds as he could. He, he is, he's very good at, uh, at, at, at at sailing through those choppy waters, but it's still going to be asking a lot. Here comes another 2D here on this, uh, on Krowrom, the Longbeard, and he just cannot get anything going. He's just going to keep getting guard locked in, and uh, this ball is going to probably not be under a ton of pressure, but it's not going to be going anywhere. He's not bringing it up. He's got a uh, single blitzer sh screening the middle of the field right now. And he's a dodge away from maybe helping that out. Ooh, makes a 1D there. And Shawnee, if he really wants it, has a dodge 1D with his runner, but probably un inadvisable, would need a 6 on the blodger, and he doesn't have block himself to protect him, so probably not going that way. And yeah, I mean, th this uh, this looks real bad here. Shawnee, can, if he can pow this, uh, this mighty blow, which he definitely wants to hit, he's basically going to be... Uh, removing uh, half of the blitzers from uh, from the rest of the play, splitting this team in half. Oh, he's not making that blitz, though. Oh, interesting. He's going to chain up. Nope. Nope. Oh, he's not chaining the runner up for a hit either. Would have had a 2D by the runner, but again, it's a 1 of 9 block as he does not have uh, the block skill. Yeah, I think we did. We play in like Rando League Muppet or maybe Blua. We've, I'm sure we've played before. Oh, and there's there's Shawnee's dub skull. Only fair given how things have gone for Colian. Um, I think they're both at two dub skulls now, uh, rocking one each a half. But uh, that one was a uh, not not the biggest deal in the world for Shawnee to have to uh, contend with. And uh, there is almost no shot whatsoever of uh, this Bretonian uh, offense not ending in some sort of potato. He's down, what, he's got four players out right now to Shawnee's one. Shawnee has 11 men on the field uh, against against Colian's seven. So that's awful for him. Uh, really needed more from those KOs. I really don't know what he can do here. I think he just loses, unfortunately. But he's gonna try and gonna try and reverse field. Fails the GFI. I mean, he has to re-roll it. He had to think about it, but the ball's just getting hit. Uh, how much of this can trust and blodge against a team with this much tackle built into it? Oh yeah, it was definitely rando. It was definitely. Uh, it was definitely Rando League that we played Muppet. I'm sure that because I remember your Shorf team being pretty pretty good. Um, uh, Blue has gotten better. I took a break from it for a while. I enjoy it just because I really like Billy. I like I like contributing to his league a lot. Um, it's fun and it's always different, which is kind of nice. Uh, it's, sometimes it's a little bit too confusingly different for me, who's not very good at managing complex roles. And uh, here we go. This Blitzer, the Mighty Blow Blitzer, making his 1D POW, doesn't get an armor break, but he is all that is standing in the way of uh, a good chunk of these dwarves just pouring right in on the ball. But Shawnee, Shawnee has been running this one fairly conservatively. Might just try and wedge him against the sideline, keep people in front as best he can. 
you're not going to see a single unmarked uh, Bretonian by the end of this turn, except for maybe the ball carrier. Shotty opting not to hit that mighty blower, only getting the push here. That might be a saving grace. Uh, we might have to see an early potato for Colian to be able to break out and at least try to force a score uh, so he can maybe get some players back and defend just enough to force it to overtime. Because the longer he stays back here, the more he's just going to get enveloped. And he is just, uh, he's, one ca he's one lucky Kaz away from just losing this game, I think. Well, Muppet Pac-Man, you've been focused on your Plim Plum Pluser Weight uh, championship run, which was successfully came to a conclusion on Sunday at, at Survivor Series of last week. Uh, Survivor Series, excuse me, SummerSlam. So you've, uh, you, you've earned the break from Blood Bowl, and you've done a lot with your time. All right, what do we do here as Coley? And I think it's potato time, personally. If he can get through and put that runner on the left there, uh, on his ass he really only has to contend with one other runner without block but it's a long way to go <laughs> and here we go that's exactly what he's doing the 1d blitz it's in he gets the pow can't save the square and risk the dodge, so he's just going to have to keep moving up. Will we see a GFI? Uh, we see... Oh, he fails the second GFI. That's going to be a reroll in overtime format. He's got to reroll it, and he makes it. We are trusting in Blodge, folks. I don't know how he's going to shut down that other runner or that long beard right in the middle there. The dodge helps. Interesting he's going on that side, not trying to screen him out. There you go. Slightly better. Now this long beard in the center here, Durmek, where I guess you can't see the names because Jimmy isn't controlling it, has a long way to go to try and be able to add the 2D. No one else to base up those guys, though. So does he double GFI to get a 2D or does he 1D without block? Uh, this could be a, a pretty successful potato depending on how the dice go. He's just going to base him up with the runner. Is he going to try and make a 50% dodge? Nope, he's just going to try and screen through this. He does have the ability to base up and force... Force a one and nine dodge. Uh, of course, uh, Coley down to one reroll. Four turns to keep fighting, and then if he is successful, still has to go into overtime afterwards. No, not much of a surf on. I, I don't think Shawnee's going to take any surf available right now. Oh, and there, okay, so now everyone getting based up again. We might have to see a, a, red D, a red dice for a push. That armor break, huge on the blitzer there. Uh, yeah, maybe a red D looking for a push and then a dodge out and score. Still going to add a GFI, too. Because even the block is good enough here if he gets it. Because he can he just have to do extra GFIs. I don't see a whole lot better unless he wants to dodge from tackle and then dodge again from tackle. I think I like the reds better, personally. 
He does too. Doesn't get it there. Last re-roll. He gets him. What's Shawnee pick here? I think he's going to force the second re-roll. He does. So now we're going to see a double GFI unless he wants to trust and lodge. No, he's just going to make him, and he does score. And we've got a bit of a ball game here. Going to come down to some KO rolls, though. Yeah, I'm up it. I get you. All right, what's going to happen here? Oh, he's got his KOs back. He's going to have a 10-man uh, defense, right? No. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. An eight-man defense. Don't know what I'm talking about. Forgot about the two casualties. So eight on 11 for this one. But Dwarves, four turns to score. That should be enough. But Colian, you know, a little bit of luck here and there. Some good positioning and maybe a favorable kickoff could put the Dwarves in trouble of having to go to overtime, but they have the two reroll advantage. This game is not over, but it's looking desperate for the Bretts. Is Shawnee doing enough there against the Blitz, I wonder? Not going to have to worry about it. That's pretty nice for Colian. Yeah, Shawnee's getting one too, but it's pretty nice to get any rerolls when you're out of them in an overtime format. Lebrett's mask. <laughs> <laughs> they both got one. Huh? Oh, yeah. Flip the screen if you haven't yeah. yet. Yeah, that's what I came back to do. Okay. Clever gyms. Yeah, they're looking real bad for Coley and XXXXXX and his breaths, but he was... Oh, and it's looking a lot worse now. He he was able to, to get some dice and get a score to give himself a wing and a prayer here, Jim. Oh, wow, I think you're way ahead of me. You know when you just said it's a lot worse? That's just happened, that, Kaz. Oh, okay, good to know. Sorry, folks. Uh, yeah. Not much we can do about that. I can't really pause because I'll just get... I'll catch up sooner. Yeah. Um, actually, you know what I can do, though, is I can turn on... I'm looking at chat only, but if I turn on the video, too, on my phone here where I'm looking at at the stream, will that do anything? I don't no, know. I could, stream on, I could stream in commentary. I could stream the ball, too. That might help you. I've done that. Um, well, no, because then I'm stuck uh, stuck with whatever camera angle you give me. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, you could, it could help you for the timing, anyway. Oh, yeah, fair, fair, fair enough. Um, so right. <laughs> um, light years to delay, but I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at it in the con, in the client, and Skuro's looking at the client, yet he saw that car's way before me. Isn't that weird? Yeah, I don't know. But I don't anyway, know. um, looking anyway, at this. Anyway, no one's, no one seems to have complained thus far <laughs> yeah. about me spoiling this game. No, no I just noticed like... it then because I was, I was when you yeah. said it's got a lot, whole lot worse. I was like, why? Because he's, he's moved a dwarf across. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Well, I, I'll just, uh, I did that in the first game too. I'll just try to, uh, I'll try and step back my, my play. It's easy enough for me to be uh, on a two second delay in real life. I usually am. So. <laughs> 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 oh, JF5. It's not JFW, is it? Let's be honest. <laughs> um, Actually, yeah, maybe if I leave, let me let me quit the replay and reopen it. Maybe I'll get back into a, into sync with you somehow, even though it should be the other way around. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> who, know, who, who knows? Because it's a fucked up game, isn't it, Cyanide? Um, so yeah, he's still got his 11 players. He's got two more turns to go. This is going to be hard for Shawnee to score in normal time. You might not even try because you'd, you'd fancy him to turn him over, like play a more aggressive defense, wouldn't you, in overtime if you lost the toss? And obviously yeah, if you I win think the so. Toss, that's a, that's a very, very good point. Uh, I don't like ever putting, uh, putting the game in the hands of a coin flip, but the coin flip isn't necessarily in the favor of the Bretts. Either way, with only six players currently on the pitch and only one one available. Oh, sorry, seven players on the pitch and one available past that. And we've still got several turns of hits. Yeah, yeah, this is uh, it's looking rough for them. Right. Anyway, I'll, again, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to lie down. If if it goes to overtime, I'll come on for the overtime. I guess. But... Yeah. No. No problem at all. Uh, yeah, I'm up at. It's possible that something to do with like clearing the uh, clearing the Apo screen or clearing the kickoff screen might have might have. Uh, Got us out of sync. 
But uh, anyway, uh, we're back in it now. And also, I could just be a little... I don't need to call every single movement that happens. <laughs> oh, that's... that's Yeah, that's a good point, Bernard. That's kind of what I was saying. Maybe I'll, I'll be a little less uh, trigger-happy with that, I think. That might help a little bit. Yeah, I mean, Shawnee needs to get, uh, let's see, his runner is what? Six, seven. So Shawnee needs to get himself to the uh, the 12 yard line there, right at the the nose ring of uh, Colian's uh, team symbol. That's a long way to go. That's at least one GFI for the current ball holder, ball handler to uh, to be in scoring range. That's a big risk uh, when you probably don't need it. We'll see what Colian gives him for a straight shot over there. <laughs> yeah, J5. I get that reference. Uh, Colian is just giving him... I mean, he doesn't really have a choice here, but uh, the, uh, the sure hands... The sure hands uh, uh, blitzer in the middle can chain another guy free, and, and Shawnee can just move his entire team downfield if he wants to. Oh, he's not taking the chain, but he's still going to put him on his ass. And now Shawnee can flood through. Maybe it is worth making that GFI to try, try and win it in regular time here. Very little Colian can do about this, unfortunately. Yep. Also, yeah. I mean, a uh, good point. Good point, Necropotence. Yeah. Um, I don't think anyone was really uh, expecting the Bretts to have uh, any shot at a turnover score for the win here. They just need to limp into overtime and hope for the best. Uh, with a GFI, there is one GFI. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, actually, no. Technically, he doesn't need any GFIs. But if he wants the ball safer, he needs at least one GFI to make this happen. See what he does here. Runner on the move. Fails the GFI. Fail Double wants the GFI. Oh, dear. No shot now. Now suddenly Colian's got a wish. Uh, well, we are definitely going to overtime now. He's just got to make sure he doesn't accidentally give off any sort of chain. But Colleen here can try and tee off, maybe get a cheeky dwarf Kaz to give him a shot in overtime. Shawnee, Shawnee, a game number two in a row, spoiled on GFIs potentially, but still a, a very massive advantage going into uh, overtime here. Updates from around the league, uh, none to be had yet. We did, we didn't know the result of Andy Davo Bright, and Andy Davo did advance. He is facing off Mike the Machine, who we saw right here in the first game. Uh, one at three nothing against Bright. Yikes! Uh, and an uh, early result of losers round uh, number two. Uh, oh, Elion gets the uh, buy win over Joe Manji. Nothing else to report. Never mind, that was a pointless segment of information that you either already knew or didn't need to know, folks. All right, so, uh, yep, Colian doing the right thing, maximizing his blocks, but he has not gotten the, any of the removals he's going to need for overtime. So he is looking at desperately needing a coin flip and maybe uh, winning a re-roll would be the best case for him on that kickoff. I will be right back, folks. I just got to check on the dogs outside. Give me one moment.
Ils vont en découdre mano à mano, Bob. Pas pour ça. Il faut se rapprocher jusqu'à sentir la laine de l'adversaire et voir les insectes coller entre ses dents. <laughs> oh, it's a hot one out there. I had to check on the dogs in the yard and I walked outside looking around for him. Couldn't find him anywhere. Almost had a moment of panic. Turned around and saw two dogs looking at me like I was an asshole from inside the house in the AC where they've been napping in the other room. I own two dogs. They're called Tamaskins Muppet Pac-Man. You should Google them right now. You can see what J5 is talking about. They're uh, a Finnish breed of sled dog. And here we go. Overtime. Who's going to win the toss? And if and if it's Colian, what kind of what kind of uh, potato can he put together with his seven players? Tamaskin, T A M A S K A N. They look a little bit like huskies, a little bit like German shepherds. Uh, mostly, they look like coyotes, though. And Colian has won the toss. He's opted to receive. He's going to have. Uh, eight players on the pitch against the full 11, right? Five, six, wait. Yep. Yeah, so we've got eight players versus 11, but the advantage, this is kind of the best case for the drama. Uh, Colian's going to get a shot here against, uh, you know, he's going to be outguarded and outnumbered by dwarves, but if he can just get through, maybe get a quick score... He's got a real shot. What a way What a way to exit Shawnee from a playoff if he could come out with a win here, all because Shawnee failed the GFI on his chance to end it in regular time. This is what I was talking about when Jim said he likes holding it for, for OT. I never, ever do. But still, the massive, massive advantage goes to Shawnee in this one just because of the numbers game and, uh, and the guard and the, the ability to leverage his guard. Uh, Muppet, to answer that question, I uh, I had a friend who discovered the breed. They're a relatively quote-unquote new breed of dog. They're not like a, a designer dog or anything. They are their own breed. But I had a friend, uh, they have a very controlled breeding program because of how awful most pedigree breeding has been for the last 150 years. Uh, and uh, I met a pair of Tamaskins that a friend of mine owned that they were just looking to, they were looking to start their own uh, breeder, their own breeder, and they did, and they were very responsible. You know, one of them was a lawyer, very responsible group of people, very good friends of mine. So I ended up taking one of their puppies as my second dog, my first dog being an Irish wolfhound, which is the exact opposite end of the spectrum in terms of uh, responsible breeding. That's a breed that's just been absolutely ravaged by irresponsible breeding for a hundred and something years um that gives them all sorts of health issues now my favorite dog on the planet was that irish wolfhound always has been always will be but uh they're they're a tough breed to own because you know they're gonna have a lot of health issues you know they're not gonna uh they're not going to have a happy end more often than not and mine unfortunately died very young of a uh, genetic disorder that is quite calm. Well, we don't know if it's, he bloated, which is a, a common killer of, uh, of uh, giant breed dogs. No, but they're good friends of mine too, J5. <laughs> I agree. It just more meant he was very responsible and very matter of fact. Like the contract I had to sign to own the dog led me to believe that anyone that they ever sold a puppy to that was irresponsible would end up hating their lives. <laughs> which I was kind of into because I'm not a fan of a lot of backyard breeders just try to cut a profit and uh, get their, their, their puppies into the hands of irresponsible owners. All right. Well, um, a central position by Colian here would work out under some circumstances, but he's going to have a real hard time punching through. And I think every turn of overtime that goes on in this one, uh, <laughs> Colian's chances at uh, stealing a win here are significantly diminishing. Yeah, it's tough, isn't it? He's, it's it's good for him that dwarves are so slow, so that, like you know, and Bretts are decently fast. So if you can 
run around somehow and, and you know maybe you can get Shawnee to uh, commit a bit and you know swing it back around on him and get him outrun him like it's it's possible but uh, yeah. it, it's obviously tough because Shawnee's Shawnee's not crap if he was up against somebody crap <laughs> you might be able to back call him but you know because he's because he is good but it's 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 hard against just a better such a better team and down three players isn't it really rough. Abs yeah absolutely i mean really really Colian's best shot here is to try and get that ball uh on his uh you know on his blotch blitzer across and into scoring position and uh make sure that there's no tackle available to try and hit him and then trust in blotch yeah yeah i mean the thing with Muppet, Muppet he did score the first time but i mean shawnee was like playing more conservative defense then wasn't he so yeah it's it's like it wasn't it's not going to be as easy to score this. Like, Shawnee would have been happy with him scoring in two, wouldn't he, the first time, you know? He wouldn't yeah. be happy with scoring in two now. He's going to play harder defense this time. <laughs> Absolutely. So. And also, I mean, and also that score, that score wasn't miraculous, but it did take a bit of doing uh, to, to, to come into fruition, you know? Like, he mm. still had to make a double GFI, a red deep, a red deep blitz with the ball carrier. Like, there, you know, if if those are the odds for Shawnee to end the game in four turns of the second half, he's going to take them every time. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good job, Jim. Good job, Jim. <laughs> and yeah, J five, J five. Uh, you know, that's that's funny you say that because like a lot of people, you know, I I, I would assume that no, most people in the global world that know me well enough would be like, victorious. he's the guy who wouldn't and own it, you defend. know, a, uh, a pedigree defend. dog, he'd own, uh, you know, the, the runty rescue dog, because he's a bleeding heart liberal that wants everything to be happy, um, which is somewhat true, but I'm very particular about how I interact with my dogs, how I raise my dogs, and, uh, one of my dogs, actually, technically one of my Tamaskins is technically a rescue uh, because his owner imported him to breed with him and then died of cancer. And the dog was like stuck with no home. So he's kind of an ass. That's the one who's kind of an asshole because he grew up not knowing anything. <laughs> I thought you could say but, one of mine's uh, technically a wrestler. That would be amazing. <laughs> Uh, but, I mean, he he can put up a good fight. <laughs> That's for damn sure. <laughs> they both they both are. They're funny because when we bring dogs over to uh, to play in the yard, all they like to do is full on wrestle, and they are like they're like fucking velociraptors, man. They will do nothing but team up and annihilate any dog they play with. <laughs> right. Thank you very much, Papa Piccolo, by the way, for staying fantastic for over seven who beaver pregnancies. Absolutely glorious. And Papa Pac-Man for one and a half beaver pregnancies. Absolutely glorious. Thank you very much. And <laughs> <it'll>... Fucking J5. <laughs> 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 All right, I think we're gonna see our trust in Blodge coming out here now. The one D gets the knockdown. Responsible breading. Oh my oh, God, gets, gets the, the cast. cast. This uh, this could this could be some bad dice away from a very nasty loss here yeah. for Shawnee and an exit, an exit out of a tournament that I think he had a real shot of winning. Oh no, he's he's oh. coming back. Oh. I mean, it, it's fair in a way because he has got these guys here um, to cover, yeah. but he's all, he's also got four on three here, so he's he's like yep. getting a spot, isn't he? There, kind of, and obviously if they punch him, they can move. But he did have a route to go, but it wasn't great. Um, yeah, it was very easy to free that troll slayer to get two shots at the blodger. Yeah, it was it was very difficult to keep the ball safe. He didn't want to go. Complete potato, did he? he? Didn't want to go. Uh, yeah. He can't use his last reroll on that, can he? A three plus, but it's yeah, gonna it mean two D on the ball, probably. So. Oh well, that that was an unfortunate block there, though. That that's gonna be a bit, a bit of trouble for Colian. Yeah. That peasant yep. going down on the one D. Yeah, this is looking real bad, isn't it? Because this is looking like two. I mean, well, almost <laughs> certainly two dice on the ball. Yep. I guess a can wrestle would be better. Can do with tackle though is the question. Yeah, he's got. Yes, he's he got can. Right yeah, there. yeah, he's got tackle right there, and here it comes. He can even. No, he he could make other hits and maybe have come around the back to get an extra hit on. Oh, he doesn't get him though. Re rolls it, and now he does have him, and that might have been his last shot. Doesn't break armor. Ball scatters to a 
neutral. Oh, no, perfect for Sean. Right there. Yeah, perfect, perfect spot. Oh. Yeah, that's, uh, I think that's going to be all she wrote here, folks. That runner can come down, grab the ball. Spot of buffer. Responsible <laughs> breading, yeah. Very good. <laughs> All right, now we're back into Miracle Dice situation for Coley in here. Do you yeah. even take the block on this uh, Blodge Step Blitzer, Jim? Um, no, he looks he looks pretty tied up, doesn't he? Yeah. I mean, he, at best he's got a 4 plus 3 plus out against... Oh, actually, no, against Tackle on the 4 plus. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think you just leave him. Yep. Yeah, now Colian's thinking, maybe I should have pushed down the side. <laughs> yeah. Well, if nothing else, the ball scattering upfield there gives him a little bit more of a shot of some bad dice saving the game. Yeah. Uh, but he's still, I mean, he, he's he got a 1D here against Snowblock. I don't like these double runners with no skills. Yeah. And he just gets the push. Has to re-roll this, really. Doesn't. Yeah, he doesn't want to, does he? But like, it's no, but I mean, really what tough. else does he got going for himself here? Well, I hope to get a better one next turn, but is he going to get it? I don't think so. But he can easily chain this ball free now and hit both of the guys that are currently on the ball and just yeah. run that, you know. Yeah, it's not looking he good did, for him. It's not. He look did make those dodges to get the, the blodge stepper out. I would have liked to see the blodge stepper flee downfield, I think. Yes. So he can't just get instantly covered again. <laughs> Fuck's sake, Johnny Five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I kind of, I, I tend to agree with you, Muppet. Yeah, but I mean, what's best is to do the thing that gives you the best chance of scoring or winning or whatever, isn't it? And whether that's making the dice rolls yourself or yeah. making them roll is depends what the dice rolls are. But, um, I have always I have always approached Blood Bowl from a position of it, it, my dice aren't going to win me the game, but my opponent's dice could lose him the game. Uh, J5 knows this well. That's one of the things I, I generally do. It does not work out nearly as well as it should. <laughs> as nearly as well as I want it to most of the time. But uh, I feel... I, I generally feel better when it's someone else's dice beating me than when it's my own dice losing it for me if that makes any sense yeah yeah i see what you mean but um shawnee in absolutely no rush to get that ball free right now he just has some numbers advantage just tying everyone up uh again miracle dice are the thing that can always just happen in blood bowl but seeming less and less likely that he's going to get a shot at miracle dice here yeah that's the thing if he's got these guards there it's it's hard for it's hard for uh Colian even get a 1D on the ball, isn't it? But now Colian might try and go back, right? If Colian, if Colian can just defend here, he can go to yeah. kicks with even chances. Yeah. So I think that's why I didn't re-roll it, right? He's he's going to yep. switch gears into trying to just desperately try to stop the score from Shawnee. And if he can somehow stop Shawnee's score, then he can go to kicks, and that's about the best he's going to do, even if it's zero re-rolls against one. I definitely agree with that. Uh, getting that getting that blodge stepper out and free would be a nice way to do it. No, he's just going right in for those reds, though. <laughs> uh, that does put him into position for more reds, and it keeps him back on the other side, uh, uh, you know, on the defending half. So, yeah. does a little hey, bit of work. Hey, you go oh, defenseless. Look Boom. Look at this. Yeah, that defenseless runner. I again, I I'm not. A <laughs> oh, hey, hey, he catches the ball. Oh, all of his paycheck earned on that one play there. <laughs> Holy shit. Now, he's not a blodger, uh, but he's oh. also up on some... Oh, God, these one Ds. Yeah. Doesn't re-roll, can't re-roll it. He does have the uh, blodge stepper in the vicinity there to be a pain in the ass. This could sneakily... Be nope, just instantly pass. <laughs> <laughs> But the, the runner's stunned, though, so he's got to try and free up this uh, this blitzer up there, hasn't he, or down here. The yep. blitzer up here or down here, one of those two. He does not do it, though. No, he could blitz him, though, couldn't he? He could blitz him now with this guy. Yep. 
or he could blitz the one down he could blitz the blood stepper down there so he's got to decide maybe he's gonna <laughs> blitz the blood stepper oh i don't like hitting the blood stepper <laughs> i definitely don't like hitting the blood stepper oh does he does he eat it he should have thought for 47 seconds more before he made the blitz he uh, eats it yeah oh man <laughs> this game what's going on <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh boy I, I don't want to say Colian's getting bailed out because I feel like that implies that Colian hasn't played well, and he's doing pretty much everything in his power with what he's been given. Oh, I did uh, not the like game that. bailing out this team right now. Oh, I did not like that. I know he gets to hit with wrestle instead of not with wrestle, but if he'd hit with the uh, peasant, he would have had like two chances to free him up. You know, if that was just a push, the peasant's yeah. still still taken up. But if it was a push down here, he could have then hit him with a sidestep, so he'd have had two chances to clear him. But he gets I think the clear he wants anyway. that sidestepper to grab the ball, though, Jim. Yeah, I know, but it still it still would have been better to have maybe. I just think it would have been better to have had the better to have had the the wrestler over there as well, right, with the guard sure. as well. He's a better player to get in. And yes, it would have meant blocking without block. But um. So huge, huge one and nine coming for this blood stepper now. Yeah, he's got uh, dodge. I'd, th I'd throw the re I'd throw the reroll at it too, personally. He's got dodge, uh, though. Uh, he's on tackle. No, he's not. That's no, a blitzer. Not. Yeah. Um, and he doesn't get the knockdown, but he will be able to probably put that ball in his hands with uh, with a three plus here. The question is, does he have to? I think he wouldn't have re-rolled it um, mm. because just having the you know having the ball around him, he's got blood step. Yeah. The run yep. is so far away. The the blitzers are pretty far away. Um. This is, it looks like it's going to go to kicks, doesn't it? Oh, he, uh, oh he's he not making like it a canoring threat. I, I think Colian has a real shot to win this, Jim. Yeah. Yeah. Real shot. I mean, he's going to get one. No. Yeah, you don't really want to 1D a blodge stepper because you're just going to save him a square of movement. Yeah. Oh, this, this really turned into something here. Yeah, incredible, really, wasn't it? And Shorty got flashlights. Yeah. Go fuck yourself. No more damage from Shawnee in overtime. Yep. At this point, if I'm Colian, uh, I mean, I, I guess they're on even ground with the rerolls going into kicks. And the way this game's gone for Colian, that's, you know, you can't feel bad if you lose on kicks with even dice yeah, after, did... this, after the way this game played out. But man, would I consider throwing a reroll to win <laughs> a yeah. riskier reroll than maybe you should. Oh, there you go. The the just the blocker. He didn't have dodge. He doesn't have dodge, but he doesn't get knocked over. So oh, oh, no everyone staying on their feet for once for Colin. Oh, Shawnee is in trouble here. Yeah, this is this is really rough for him. Oh, that's a that's huge. a pretty nice play here, yeah. Huge double GFI. Yep. The GFIs have not been kind to Shawnee this tournament, but they worked out nicely there. Yep. Um. Well, what do we do here? And now, see what I mean, right? The previous turn, yeah. Previous turn, when I said it, I didn't like it, now you'd have had guard next to the ball carrier. Yeah. Instead of not guard. Yep. <laughs> Interesting. Good call. Good call. He does have so this does, blitzer free, so yeah, it's just just about to say that that blitzer can get up into a scoring position that Shawnee has to acknowledge, or he could come across maybe. Yeah, he yeah, he's gonna come across. Someone. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Just a push, though. Currently, no real scoring threat for Colin, but again, he doesn't care. No real scoring threat for Shawnee, right? Yeah. There's only yep. maybe this yep. blitzer. Does he? Does he red with the peasant? To, no, he just fails the dodge. I mean, he he oh, he it. does. He does re-roll it though. Oh, Ooh. risky business. Oh, I'm not sure that about was, that. Oh, that was probably too early in this sequence of events to try and win it. Oh yeah, he's got dodge for the second one though, and he's got catch for this. Oh. So maybe it was worth it because he can potato oh, away. Oh my gosh. Can he? 
this is one of those tales as old as time where the where the conservative blood bowl play maybe doesn't work out for you that might have cost me and you the game maybe but, yeah but it might have just won it for coley and holy crap yeah and maybe shawnee overcommitted last turn eh? maybe he should have had another guy there yeah. maybe he should have kept a guy on him and if he just makes all these three pluses this game is all but done yeah. He's only got three seconds to make them, though. <laughs> oh, just making all the dice rolls. Good night, sweet oh, prince. Man. I think this is over for Shawnee. What Incredible. A, what a rough exit from the tournament. Uh, a game that he felt like he had in control for the entirety of the match. That is incredible, isn't it? What a performance from Coley. Wow, the, the, just that, that playoff or that overtime kickoff rewarded and just and barely too like he barely got away with it but if shawnee if shawnee can pull this out of his ass i'd be very impressed but it's i don't think that's gonna happen <laughs> what's he even got here a 1d on blodge no not blodge actually mm. uh there's no gfis now for him Rough, yeah, he's got to He's got to get him. And see. Oh, here comes the 1D. It's a skull. He's got to re-roll it. Ooh. It's a push. Pushes him closer. <laughs> oh, Shawnee had a shot there. Not much of one. He probably shouldn't have moved this guy, right? Which guy are you talking about? This guy here. He's not done anything with him. He's just moved up. He could have double GFI'd with him and tagged. Like, double tagged this guy. You know, th this guy's going to double GFI and tag him. Couldn't he have double GFI'd? Oh, fails another one. All right. Uh, this is basically trivial at this point to clear the ball. Yeah. Two dice with Russell. Now he's on the ground, but still, he could have still moved him last and double GFI'd. Oh, he doubled <gasps> He double skulls! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what a fucking game! Ladies and gentlemen, this is oh. why you come to watch oh. Blitzfit. A coin flip to end it. Everyone out of rerolls. Colian has got to be furious. <laughs> All right, I know the sink's going to be off in this one, so I won't spoil it, Jim. I'll wait for your call on the winner. That's a great idea. And uh, the runner starts, kick it, strips, splits the uprights. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I might have cursed of Gorilla Metsu them on that one. This is a trivial <laughs> Oh, Colian <laughs> well, makes no it one more. No one tell Colian. No one tell Colian. Don't watch the VOD, even though if you're hearing this, you'll have already watched the VOD. <laughs> <laughs> and there you go, 2 1. Oh, boy. Probably J5, probably. Uh, both players roll a d6 and add the number of re re remaining reroll. Oh! Rerolls, which was none. So that's Coley and fucked. It, oh, is that is that it? Yep. All right, and Shawnee escaping <laughs> with <laughs> the win. What a game, though. I thought this was going to be... I was not looking forward to really sitting through this one because it just looked like Shawnee dominance throughout. The, maybe the right result based on teams. Both coaches played to the best of their abilities in that one. Hell of a matchup by both coaches. Very unlucky by both coaches. Yes. <laughs> and Shawnee takes it, stays alive in the loser's bracket on kicks. And that is your round two from us with the blitz pit coverage by the jfw thank you very much uh, extraordinary. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much gorilla Metso. and uh yeah that's uh that's one of those things isn't it you know like if that was shawnee versus a lot of people he would have crushed them and then you know and it would have been an easy win but that's colian isn't it you know colian showing how good he was making the fight rolling all the dice you know doing everything he could to make it as close as possible so there you go. Great performance by him. Congratulations to Shawnee Law. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.